In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update or change sales tax rates in QuickBooks. Whether you're handling a recent change in tax legislation or simply updating your bookkeeping records, knowing how to adjust sales tax rates efficiently can make a big difference in your financial management. We'll walk through this process step by step, ensuring you get it right to keep your finances in check. To start, you'll need to sign in to your QuickBooks account. If you're already logged in, you're halfway there. If not, open your preferred web browser, navigate to the QuickBooks website and locate the Sign In button. Give it a click and you'll be prompted to choose between various QuickBooks options. In this case, select QuickBooks Online from the menu. Once you've selected QuickBooks Online, enter your login credentials to access your account. These credentials will typically include your email or username and password. Double check your details to ensure they're correct, then hit continue to proceed. Once you're logged in, you're ready to make the necessary updates. Next, navigate to the sales tax page within QuickBooks. You can find it by going directly to the sales tax settings URL provided by QuickBooks, or simply by navigating through your dashboard until you reach the sales tax section. This page is where all your tax details are managed, so take a moment to familiarize yourself with the layout if you're not already acquainted. On the sales tax page, look towards the upper right hand corner for the sales tax settings option. Clicking this will direct you to the settings page where you can make changes to your tax rates. The settings page is designed to give you comprehensive control over your custom rates, and this is precisely where our focus will be. Scroll down to the custom rates section within the sales tax settings. This is where you can create or edit any customized sales tax rates you need for your business. Find the rate you wish to update and hover over it. You should see an edit button appear nearby. Clicking this button will open up the rate editing interface. Now that you're in the editing section, you have the power to change the sales tax rate itself. Adjust the rate to reflect the new percentage required by your local tax laws or company needs. It's important to double check the accuracy of the new rate before proceeding, as even a small error can lead to discrepancies in your accounting. Once you have updated your sales tax rate, don't forget to save your changes. This ensures that your new settings take effect and that your transactions reflect the correct sales tax rate going forward. With everything set up correctly, you can confidently continue managing your accounts, knowing your sales tax rates are accurate and up to date. 